Okay, welcome back to the Audulous Module Library tutorial. This is 2.3, Quantizing. As always, I'll read the patch and then we'll talk about it afterwards. So, the VCO accepts octave signals to change the pitch. We learned about that in the last tutorial. Octave signals range between negative five and five, where zero equals 440 hertz, middle A, or A4, right? So we can change the offset knob to change the pitch of the VCO. This is all stuff we learned in the last tutorial. Except now, in between this module and this module, there's a quantizer, okay? For now, uh, keep the quantizer tile in A chromatic so that it matches up with the notes to the right on these, uh, this chart over here. So this is the scale, the, its root is A, and it's in chromatic mode, okay? Below is the full range of the octave uh, signal. Every time you go up or down by one, you shift an octave. So we look at the note, here's the note name here, and the value, the value that's coming uh, through here, right? So the note, if there's nothing plugged in, there's just gonna be a zero there, so that's A4. You go up one, it's A5, up two, A6, seven, eight, nine. So you're going up to A9 as the highest note that you can play. Uh, and then you go down by an octave each time with every integer you go down, and you go from A4 to A3, A2, A1, A0, and A negative one, which is not really a note on the keyboard, but you know, it's there. So uh, here's a sample of one octave of values between A4 here and A5. Uh, so to shift by a semitone, we're adding or subtracting 1 12th, the, the value 1 12th. Uh, so we have the notes here, the fractional value that you're shifting by, and the, the value that's in the decimal that you'll see here at the output. So A4 starts at zero, and then you go to A sharp, uh, a four sharp, you get you go up by one twelfth, uh, which is point zero eight three 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 three, and then you go to B. That's two twelfths. That's point zero one six six six. Three divided by twelve. That's point two five. So every time you're going up by one twelfth more, you're you're moving to a new uh, semitone, right? So the important thing about this is it might be a little overwhelming. You're looking at this, oh God, how, how am I gonna know all of this stuff? You don't need to memorize these values. You just need to understand that going up or down by one is shifting an octave uh, up or down, and that plus or minus one twelfth is a semitone shift up or down. Uh, and again, the quantizer does this job for you, as you'll hear in a second. So I'm gonna turn the patch up. Right? It's the same as we had before, except now, when I go up, right? it's like you're playing the note on the keyboard, going up by white keys, black keys. Okay? That's two octaves up. One octave up. Return, and we'll go down. Just as a reminder, so I'll skip the quantizer. You can see what it sounds like without that. Right, so it's a smooth transition between those uh, pitches. But what this is doing is it's locking it in to a certain pitch according to the scale. And we can see how, for example, here there's 0.5. That's D sharp here that we're playing. We go up one, this 0.583, that's E, right? F, 0.666, right there. Uh, and again, you don't need to memorize these values. The quantizer does that work for you. That, that's, that's why it's there. Uh, but just to understand conceptually that the octave signal is arranged in a way so it's, it's linearly scaled so that you can go up one or uh, down one and uh, you, you are shifting an octave that way. And so instead of have if you worked with Hertz, uh, without getting too deep into it, you're, you're doubling the frequency by going up an octave and having the frequency by going down. And that ends up being kind of complicated math if you wanted to make uh, you know, everything based off of Hertz. So this is, it's, it's useful to work in a different system. That's why you have the one volt per octave system, for example, in the modular world. This is the exact same as the one uh, volt per octave signal, except that it's shifting the center, like the zero volts, you know, whatever, to uh, the middle pitch rather than the lowest pitch that the oscillator can play. Okay, 
So I hope you got all of this. You don't need to absorb everything in this tutorial. You could even, you know, just say, I don't understand this, skip to the next tutorial. It will become a part of your understanding as you work more with these modules, especially in a musical way, rather than just understanding the theory behind it, you're actually applying it, which we'll be doing in the next few uh, tutorials, really kind of starting to make something musical with these quantizers and, quantizers and VCOs. Okay, so I'll see you in the next one.